Why hello there, Anxious Cynic back again, continuing our beginner's guide series in Monimator. And today we're gonna cover how to import rigs into your scene. So we're gonna use this button up here. If you click on this, it's import an asset. And this is, you know, we covered this before with saved keyframes and things like that. So we're gonna click on this. It's gonna come up with a dialog box. Once again, it's on my other monitor. So uh, I'm just gonna navigate to find the stuff that I'm looking for over there. Hope you don't mind. And as you can see here, I've got my rigs folder with a bunch of different rigs that I have. I'm gonna open up my 3D bow rig that I made some time ago. So we have the 3D bow rig object and we have a 3D arrow rig. They're two separate rigs. I have a video on that if you wanna check it out for yourself. But uh, for now, we're just gonna bring in these. Let me go ahead and drag this back over here. I'm gonna click on that, double clicked on it, whatever. And as you can see here, we have 3D bow rig now in our timeline. But if I look around, oh, it's not here. So we're gonna have to bring it up, bring it over, and there you go. This is the 3D bow rig that I made some time ago. And as you can see, it still works from the looks of it in Minimator 1.1.2. And uh, all this stuff is animatable. I'm not really gonna go over it too in depth, but this part moves and this part moves, if I can stop clicking on other things, so that you can animate like a real bow moving with everything kind of bending and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it. You know, you just go up here to this button here to import an asset. We're gonna go ahead and bring in the 3D arrow, click on that, open, and now we have 3D arrow rig. And I can just go ahead and drag this over just like so. And there's our assets, man. There's the 3D arrow rig, looks just like that right there, kind of going over that kind of fast, but you know, it is what it is. And then just like anything else, we can take these and parent them to the Steve. We can do whatever we want to get that Steve. And then we're going to zero out that position there and then, you know, position it and all that good stuff. So that's pretty much it. That's how you would import uh, rigs and other things. Let me uh, go ahead and get rid of those things are going crazy. All right. So there it is. So that's how you import rigs, guys. Uh, as far as making rigs and things like that, I have tutorials to show that stuff already. So if you haven't, I recommend you go on into the channel. You can search on the channel rigs. You can go to my tutorials playlist and check them out there. But that's pretty much it. You can just dangle, bring in your rigs like that, start using them in your animations and good stuff. So like one little thing I want to go ahead and note here, uh, this hasn't been happening to me, so it's hard for me to confirm the process here, unfortunately. But if I go ahead and go down here and you see all these different parts to the rig, well, if I go into the library, then all those parts are in here. You'll see here I have the name 3D bow rig base, all this kind of stuff. And they have their textures applied. You'll see the image right there. There's a texture and we have all these different textures for each part of the rig. If you're not familiar with what all this is, I just jumbled those words. But if you're not familiar with this, then I recommend watching my rigging tutorials or someone else's, you know, to kind of get an understanding of how rigs are done and what they're all about, but they're basically just a bunch of parts put together to make a single object that is more animatable than the default objects. So anyway, uh, sometimes the textures don't load in. They'll come in purple or something. It doesn't look right. So all you should have to do is go into the library. You click on these. You come down here to the textures and just reselect the one that is relative to that object. I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, just test it out and maybe it'll work if you're running into that problem. But uh, I'm pretty sure that's all you have to do. Just so Minimator knows like, oh, hey, this is actually part of this. And this is the texture that you want to use and stuff like that. It's kind of like it forgets where they are or something. But hopefully that'll help you. If not, then uh, you might have to reload the textures altogether. You can go into the resources here and, you know, bring in the objects. You know, you can go here and open that file or replace it. Uh, there's different uh, things you can do. Reload the selected resource from the hard drive. You can uh, replace the selected resource with the, a new file, stuff like that. So those are the basic things that maybe you can do to rectify that issue if you run into it. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful. If you liked the video, feel free to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to become a citizen today. Share it with your friends, your family, and your pets. And I'll see you guys in the next video.